What's up guys? This week I didn't want to really do a crazy update video. Um, as of today, patch 5.04 is coming out. So what that means is I'm going to be really, really busy trying to get out some content videos for you guys. Uh, so what I decided to do was we did our fantasy football draft this morning. Um, and I'm really excited about that. So what I did was I just am kind of letting it play. Uh, I frapped the whole thing just so that it could play through. And what I'm going to do is just let you guys take a look at it. Um, I will obviously have my entire team that I got scrolling, but this week I didn't really, really want to do an update video because uh, the shirts are supposed to come in at the end of the week, uh, so I'm looking forward to that. The other things that I had coming up were obviously with 5.04, um, we've got a huge, huge list of videos to do. So. I will be working on that all day tonight. Um, I probably will not be able to get you out a video tonight. I'm going to be straight theory crafting and doing footage all night, making sure that I've got kind of everything down. I'm going to try to give you a boss by boss uh, breakdown with the new talents for Resto Druids. I'm not going to do that with every class. Um, I will do a couple of videos of some cool things that I found with, again, priests and warlocks. Uh, that will be something else that I definitely do for you, and I will try to get those footages done tonight, and then that way I can edit tomorrow, and hopefully release those by tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening at the latest, um, because I want to get those videos out as soon as possible, especially with all the new changes. I know you guys are waiting for them. So I wanted to update you who follow my channel, and I wanted to thank you for all the new subscribers this week. Um, and again, this is when you're really going to see that hopefully I have something to offer you as a gaming community um, as far as Wrestle Druids go. As far as add-ons go, as far as anything goes, please feel free to write comments with questions. I will be more than happy to answer them, guys. Uh, I answered a couple today. I've answered a couple private messages today. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Um, it's actually fun for me. That's why I do this, because I enjoy doing that, okay? I enjoy theory crafting with people. I enjoy people saying, oh, well, that's a cool thing. Like, what is that? How does that work? Blah, blah, blah. I love doing that kind of stuff, so that's um, what I'm going to do going forward. I know there's a lot of people out there who do different guides for different classes. Um, I know there's preachy, that's kind of all of them, but the trick is, is when you're, when you're focused on one specific class, uh, you tend to see things that someone who plays five or six dungeons doesn't see. Um, you know what I mean? Like if you're in a raiding environment with that tune all the time, you're constantly working on things, constantly trying to get better, constantly doing all those things, you're going to be you're going to be a better player than the guy who plays 34 different classes. Now, it's not always the case, but in my case it's true. Um, I believe that if you put me and Preach in a Resto Druid scenario, I would outheal the shit out of him. Um, and that's just the bottom line, and I'm not talking smack or anything. I'm just saying, like, after you play a class long enough for years, you tend to develop more muscle memory with a tune. You tend to develop more things. And I have 785s, guys. I'm not... You know, trying to be cocky, I'm not trying to say I'm anywhere near his caliber of a player. Um, but the fact of the matter is, if I'm not confident in what I'm putting videos out on, then what's the point of me putting videos? And I'm like, well, maybe I should do this, and maybe I should... No, no, hell no. No, if you don't think that you're the best, and you don't play like you're the best, then you're not the best, and you cannot possibly ever be the best. I'm not saying I'm good at a Wrestle Druid PvP style. I know I'm not, because I don't play it, okay? Um, if I put a balance druid video on here, which I'm going to try to do because that's going to be, I'm going to definitely do a leveling spec video as well for you coming out from 5.04 on into Miss. I'm going to do that for you. That's going to be something I do. Now, obviously, I might not be the best person to go to to find a balance druid leveling spec. However, my spec is going to be decent. Like, if, if you understand the way I'm theory crafting it, it's going to make sense to you. And, and, and that's the point, is if you can't convey your message in the way that it's intended to be received then you're doing it wrong and you shouldn't be making videos um, and I'm not saying anyone's doing that that's not what I'm saying but that's kind of the thing that I'm going for with my channel and I just wanted to give an update guys there's that coming out um, so 5.04 is today I've got so much work to do on that um, so I'm going to try to keep this video a little bit shorter but I did want to go over some of the things guys MMO champion has all of this patch changes information coming out okay AOE looting account wide mounts achievements etc all the class changes, all the spell changes, all the talent changes, all the glyph changes. They're completely flipping the game on its head. Okay? Um, and you should be excited about that. This is what WoW does. This is why WoW retains over 10 million people. Yes, we're down below 10 million right now. It won't be for long. I promise you it won't be for long. Um, so look forward to that. I will be bringing these videos out to you as fast as I can. Um, on to my fantasy draft. 
I'm going to win. Uh, it's not even a question whether I'm going to win the fantasy draft. Gamers know how to play games. Um, you know, if you're a good gamer and you think of yourself as a gamer, you can pick up any game, and as long as you can figure out the the mechanics of the game, a lot of times you will do better than 90% of the people who play the game. Okay, that's just the way that games work. People who really understand games and really understand like that there's math behind it. Okay, it's all it is. It's just algorithms, logarithms, and everything else going through to make a game. So if you can figure out, okay, well I like this because this will make this, and I'm going for this, and I think if A plus B plus C you know, this is the variation, but it still is greater than my variation on this part. Same thing with fantasy football. I know that if this guy puts out an average of this amount of points and this amount of points and this amount of points, what's my average amount of points per week? Obviously excluding bye weeks, but for the for the majority of the season, what are their average points from last year? Okay, now obviously they're, they're going to play different. It's going to be a little bit different, but if you look over the course of X amount of time, well, I know that if my average team is going to score 140 points a week in a fantasy football league, that's going to net me a playoff spot, at least. And that's assuming I don't pick up any sleepers. That's assuming, you know, people get injured. You know, everything comes back and forth eventually. And obviously, yes, there is some luck involved. But you'll always see the people who are really good gamers be really good at fantasy football. And the reason is because they understand how it works. It's still a game. Yes, it's real life that is taking place, and that's what determines it. But at the end of the day, we all know that Aaron Rodgers is a better quarterback than Tim Tebow when it comes to fantasy, okay? We all know that Calvin Johnson has the potential to be way better than Damaris Moore, okay? Like it, it's, that's just the way it is. Um, there's no way around it. It's a fact of life. If I know that the Philadelphia defense is always a good pass rushing defense and they always score points because they get sacks and turnovers and picks and everything else, well, I know that their defense is technically going to be better than Seattle's defense because Seattle sucks. Um, you know, th those are just the things that anybody who researches, you don't even have to know sports. If you research them for 20 minutes and it shows you all their main stats and it shows you what their average points are from a year ago and what their average projected points are from this year, and what their added players were and the players who they lost, it's very easy to say, okay, well, then this should be the ideal pick because it will average me net out this amount of points. And that's the goal, guys, is it's all about matchups. Does my quarterback outmatch up their quarterback? Does my running backs outmatch up their running backs? Position for position, position for position. That's how you win it, is the little battles position for position. Yeah, you're going to lose some. One guy might have a big game here. One guy might have a big game here. But the goal is if you can say, well, out of the seven starting spots, I've got five of them that I am 90% sure that unless something crazy happens, I'm going to beat them, then you're looking pretty good. And that's how you want to pick your fantasy team is if this guy, you know, is the risk of taking this guy in this round worth the projected reward for the course of a season? Okay, and it doesn't always work out, obviously. Obviously, there's a lot of luck. Um, but I just want to go over fantasy football today because I know – that was uh, something that I did today, and like I said, I've got it rolling in the background, and I'm just going to let it play until it stops playing. Um, and obviously, like I said, I'll put my full roster of everybody I got in at the end, and that's not a big deal. Um, but I just want to go and at least give you something today because it is Tuesday. It is video day. Don't worry. I am working. I will get you 5.04 stuff as soon as I can. Um, and again, add-ons providing. I should be able to get those out to you by Wednesday at the very latest um, Wednesday night. I'm hoping Wednesday afternoon though, maybe even late, late tonight. After I get done, um, we have a guild meeting and some other stuff going on tonight. So after all that, I'll definitely start picking up on the footage and we're gonna go through and do a lot of stuff like that, guys. But have a good week, see you next week. And by next week, I've been told that my shirts will be here by the end of this week. So if I get the call, it could be as early as tomorrow. If I get that call, don't worry, I'm definitely gonna run down. And before I record the talk over of my or the uh, you know the voice over my videos and the video over of my videos, I will definitely get that shirt for you. Wear it proud for you, and we'll see you in them games, guys. <laughs>